Okay, cool. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, well, first of all, and as usual, uh, you can find the sample in the um, a, a GitHub SpeedFX extension uh, repo. And, well, um, this sample is uh, just a common set that is going to configure uh, your page as a single app part page. And, well, if you take a look to the uh, official documentation, um, there are like uh, three ways of changing the, um, the layout. You can run some JavaScript in the browser console, which obviously is not great. And then you can use the um, uh, PMP power cell commands or the uh, CLI um, to change the page layout. After all, the only thing that we need is to change the page layout type property of the list item and set it to single web part app page. So I thought it would be a good idea to have the option to configure uh, the page from the UI. So I developed an extension um, to that. So uh, let's do a quick demo. Uh, I have created uh, some pages here in my um, modern theme site. So let me show you the one with um, an image web part on it. Uh, so as you can see, um, this is the usual layout with the um, page header on here, title, author, and so on. And there's just an image in the, um, in the page. So if we jump back to the site pages library and select again the page, uh, we have a new command button on here to single up part. And if we click on it, we are getting, hey, the page is configured as single web part app page. So if now we jump back to the page and we refresh, <coughs> yes, you can see um, you are getting the, the single uh, page app part layout. So the image is taking um, the entire, the entire um, uh, main content in the, in the page, as you can see here. So um, if we take a um, quick look uh, to the source code, um, this is just an SPFX extension, uh, list view command set extension. In this case, uh, we are defining just one uh, command, the button to uh, convert to change the, the page layout. We are using a base 64 image on here for the icon. And well, all the magic is actually happening in the uh, command set code. So when the uh, list view is updated, we are just checking if we have uh, only one item uh, selected. And if that's the case, we are showing the button. And when we click the button and the unexecute uh, method fires, um, we are checking is our uh, button. And in this case, from the selected rows, um, we are just getting the name of the of the page, the SPX file name, and we are calling this async function on here with the name. So basically, we just need to do a post request to the REST API, so REST API. So in this case, is get file by URL, name of the page, and the um, the fields of the of the list item. It's a post, so we need to configure some headers. And also in the body, um, we configure the page layout type with this single web per app page value. So we just need to post the request. And in case everything has to work, um, we are going to get a 204 uh, response status. And otherwise, something something went, went wrong. Um, so well, this is. Um, this is the code, and again, um, gives him how, how it works. So that's pretty much uh, everything from my side. But I think you want to uh, yeah, talk so, about that. So let's part. let's talk about that one slightly. Can you go back on the on the page and let's pinpoint a few things here. So, so first of all, uh, like I like I mentioned on the uh, on the intro, uh, the the end behavior in the general availability will be different. So you don't have to programmatically change this behavior. This is the preview experience, um, so that people can actually play around with this. The the key question is what actually Till is asking. Uh, can I get rid of the left navigation answer? Is yes, it it is part of the page layout. 
layout so you can actually change the page layout to be home page layout uh, oh sorry in the communication sites you can actually get rid of it so um, so it, it is part of the the rendering logic now right now we're in a modern team site so by default in the modern team site the left navigation is there so you can get rid of it uh, you can also uh, nowadays you can adjust already the header section in here um, so uh, actually we can we can show that that in here as well so this is a modern team site right now uh, uh, Luis can you actually oh that's a good point that is a good point and then going back on the on the page and voila we are without uh, the left navigation so it's it's just a matter of uh, configuration uh, well, what are we doing uh, on the page now can you go to the modify uh, the look and feel on the menu uh, one thing what I wanted to pinpoint uh, here as well uh, so on the gears menu interesting that it's not actually expanding well no the image is smaller than the screen so can we go to change the look functionality and in here I click header not all of the care and we can actually click compact and that's going to reduce then the the SharePoint section on the on the uh, front as well now we potentially if we do now apply um, well actually can can we set uh, the header color to uh, purple and then do apply that gives an idea uh, how it will look like uh, as well so the the background on the header yeah I think we're done and then the background option and then let's put that one the background being purple or we could upload an image as well later um, the whole point what I'm trying to make here is that now if you click apply uh, we can see that the SharePoint section in the suite navigation uh, underneath suite navigation is getting smaller and smaller if needed if you need to have a full-scale rendering of the web part so really having that kind of a, uh, a single part application feeling uh, if you're using this option now there was a question by the way uh, which I want to address right away there was a question related on can I modify a custom uh, modern master page answer is no because there is no such thing as modern master base so we're not using uh, master base techniques uh, anymore uh, in SharePoint um, we are giving you options on embedding headers and footers and new uh, new placeholders in the um, which are coming um, but you cannot modify a custom master base because um, or the master base itself or introduce a custom master base because that's not a feature proven way of modifying sites so we need to have uh, alternative ways of doing this um, one thing what I wanted to also pinpoint here uh, is that when, when you're creating uh, so in the GA so whenever the 1.8 comes out when you are actually creating new pages uh, when you click uh, add a new page will actually introduce in that selection then all of the web parts which are supporting a single page application rendering so you're kind of creating automatically then a new page so you don't have to go through this flipping of the of the uh, page layout and section uh, in the site but I think that's pretty much it. Maybe somebody might be still thinking on, hey, so will there be ever never an option to get rid of the header completely, which is now saying the modern team site uh, in this page, uh, which is a fair question uh, because some people would like to get rid of that. Now, it's it's one of those things which are still uh, under discussion. One of the reasons why, it's, why it is there is that if we would get rid of it, um, what would be the SharePoint? So where is then the SharePoint? SharePoint would be completely gone. So the thinking is that it, uh, in our design team is, is thinking that having that header, at least as a small header, header, will make sure that the end user will know that they are actually in a SharePoint and they would not get lost rather than completely getting rid of the, the SharePoint section um, and only leaving suit navigation on the top. So again, debatable. Uh, I would ask that people would uh, give us feedback using the user voice on all of those things um, and that if, if you need to get rid of that and that's a viable thing, um, please use user voice to give quotes on that one. Mm -hmm.